All right, farmer's market season is right around the corner, and a familiar face to Minnesota Live viewers is behind a brand new Minnesota farm brand. Sina War is the engagement and inclusion director with the Minnesota Farmer Market Association, Farmer's Market. She and producer Lauren and Drago have shown us around farmer's markets across the state last year. She's also the founder of Twin Tiger Farm and Gardens and has a brand new product that she's calling Sina Racha. And Sina's here now to talk all about it. Sina, good to see you. Sina Recha. I cha, know, cha, cha. it sounds fiery, just like you are. Yeah, super spicy. Yeah. Congrats, by the way, on the Sina Recha. Thank you. Okay, so you've been cooking. The studio already smells amazing. Yes, it does. It smells so good. Uh, and we're going to start cooking right away, right? You're going to. Yeah. We're going to cook about these and talk, pancakes. cook and talk. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So. Farmers markets are open year round, so don't forget there's still a lot of goodies out there. So I was at the St. Paul Farmers Market last weekend and I got a hold of parsnips, carrots, turnips, onions, and a lot of great products. Good too. winter stuff, right? Yes, absolutely. And so that inspired this Korean pancake. Love it. Yeah, so my first stop is always the farmers market, and the second stop is usually the Asian grocery store. So okay. I was walking through the aisle and I found this Korean pancake mix. Awesome. And so I was like, you know what, let's throw a bunch of veggies in there. And so here we go. Um, so the first thing that I do is I put a little bit of coconut, coconut oil. oil. Okay. Yep, and you can use any high heat oil that you like. And we're gonna get this pan hot, 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 just like Cena Racha. Yeah, it's already smoking. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, so look at all these beautiful veggies. So half of it came from the Asian grocery store and half of it came from the farmer's market. Yep. Um, and then what we do is we take half of the the powder mix and half water equal parts and we we mix it all together with the vegetables okay and so the consistency you're looking for is kind of like a creamy coleslaw yeah that's what it yes. looks like actually yeah. yes okay so we're gonna put this right on this super hot pan right now you hear that is that what, what how is that batter different than like you know a regular, regular pancake, pancake mix. batter yeah. you know it's actually really simple it's AP flour yeah. and a little cornstarch or okay. potato oh. starch. Yeah, and that just binds, binds them yeah. together. Yeah. And then what we do is we press it down because what we want is a nice crispy pancake. Okay. Yes, and so what I also like about this recipe is that you can use this all season long, whatever's in season at the farmer's market. Like and just, any veggies you can throw in there. Absolutely, some of the key things that you wanna make sure is in there is some scallions or green onions, um, but anything that you could kind of julienne or shred would work really great with this. All right, so and you just that have. just helps them to be a little flatter, right? Because if you were big chunks of vegetables, it wouldn't be a very good pancake. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would It'd be more agree. like a biscuit. Yeah, we were gonna make pancakes, not biscuits gets today. But yeah, so this is just the start of it. And then um, once it's ready to flip, I'm going to pass it over to Chris because I heard that he is a good pancake flipper. Are you a good flipper? <laughs> yeah. If it's anything like the eggs, Megs and eggs the other day, you might be in trouble. Uh, by the way, that was like six months ago. What Have you been working on it for the last six months? Oh, we should bring it to the farmer's market and do farmer's market Megs and eggs. That would, that would be fun. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like it. All right. All Are right. you going to flip it? Eggs? Ahead, oh, we're flipping it already. Yeah, we're going to flip it because uh, I can already tell it's starting to crisp okay, up. Right. Whoa! There you go. Yay. All right, you redeemed yourself. Thank you. All right, so you have a couple of them already made, and what yeah. do you top them with? You've got a couple little delightful things here. The Cena Racha? Yes, absolutely. But first, let's make this di the dipping sauce. Okay. okay. And so what I used is soy sauce in Cambodia. So I'm Cambodian, and in every Cambodian house, you will find seasoning sauce. This is what we use for soy sauce. So uh -huh. if you go to the Asian store, make sure to grab one of those. Then we do a little bit of sesame oil and, um, and a little bit of rice wine vinegar. That's the acidity. Mm -hmm. And then to balance it, what we're going to use is farmer's market honey. Ooh, and so nice. when I was at the market, I found this gogujang hot honey. And so gogujang is like a red pepper Korean sauce. And it all oh. came together. And so all we have to do, Megan, is just take this little cute little honey yeah. dipper and then put some in there some honey in this in the jar yeah and you can more you can yeah lots more <laughs> uh, okay hold on how much yeah and so a tip for me for everyone too is if you have a little mason jar put your sauce inside there shake and then it shake it up nope, yeah oh, it shit. just makes things more fun too. i don't know how to use this thing i just <laughs> usually okay. use a spoon i just like to use it because it's cute okay <laughs> And now we're shaking it up. Now we're going to shake it up. So we're going to close it tight. And Megan, we're going to have you shake it up. All right. Awesome. And once we feel like that's all good and mixed together, yep. we're going to put it in the sauce. Oh, you, 
Oh yeah, I didn't want it to get Jeez, all over My goodness. <laughs> all right, you get a little bit of eggs. I yes. get a little bit. And so yeah, also there's uh, toasted good. sesame seeds and black sesame seeds, um, and that just gives it a nice nutty flavor. But first, we have to well, talk yeah, about this say, one. Sina Racha. All right, racha. where do you put that? Right on top? Yeah, so the, this Sina Racha batch is made from locally grown peppers that I found at the farmer's market, red jalapeno. You're being pretty aggressive on your <laughs> Well, you can handle the heat, I think, right? Okay, so do we, and then dip it in the sauce. Yep. Too? And this is a snack food. Okay. So you want to eat this when you um, are just like, what this can I quickly make with all the vegetables? <laughs> all right. You, you got this. Hands. I was going to say, I do know how to use chopsticks, but this size is a little throwing for me. Yeah, it's okay. Come you here. know, practice makes perfect, so we're just working on it right now. <laughs> yeah, so um, Sina Racha all started because um, one of my farmers mm. had a lot of red peppers at the end of the season mm -hmm. and sriracha had a shortage and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna help out the farmer and make a yummy sauce. That's really good. Is That's it so delicious? Good. Yes, and it's so bright and fresh and locally made. Um, and so that's what started Sinaracha. Nice Tell us work. about Twin Tiger Farm and Garden. Yeah, so um, I'm an emerging farmer. This is gonna be my first year farming. Yay. So many people are like, Sina, how do I get a hold of this sauce? And so what I decided to do is start my own farm called Twin Tiger Farm and Gardens. In my culture, um, we go by the Chinese lunar calendar, so I was born near the tiger. And so that's ah, where the ah, name came makes in. Sense. Yeah. That right. sauce is really good. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do aside from the sauce at your farm? Okay, so um, we're gonna do farm, farming red jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. We're also gonna do herbs and garlics, and I'm gonna be making a lot of different Cambodian style products. And so here is an example of a product that we're gonna be releasing soon under the Twin Tiger brand. It's a peanut Cambodian snack mix. And so it's oh. great when you're having beers with your buddies or some That's wine. Nice. Can we yes, pick it up and try it? Absolutely. And so what makes this like super yummy and delicious and so Cambodian is there's um, um, kefir lime leaves. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's also pieces in there that you can't eat, like the um, <laughs> <laughs> like the lemongrass. I never that. Is that this? It's, yeah, it's just more I for aroma. I think he just got one piece. <laughs> He'll be fine. <laughs> I always do that to him. <laughs> yeah, we keep having you back. So what does that say about us? You know, we like to have fun. So it is kind of a like a snacky you eat when you're partying with friends. And that is what I'm going to also have at my happy hour event. I can totally taste the lemongrass in this. Did yeah. you taste yeah. that? I tasted a lot of it. <laughs> right, tell us about your happy hour event before we go. Yeah, so next Wednesday, um, I'm going to do an introduction to Cambodian food and release some of the Twin Tiger Sinaracha products. Nice. And so people can get a taste of what Cambodian food is like and they get inspired to shop at local farmer's markets. I would make this at home and I would serve it to the kids yeah. and I think they would like it. So very well done. Yeah, that was Thank really you. good. Thank you, Sina. Good to see you. We <laughs> yes, posted you Sina's recipes on minnesotalive.com.